So in this example, we're going to be looking at the energy stores for a vehicle that's slowing down. Now, it just happens to be I'm on my bike. But this could equally apply to cars, lorries, all sorts of vehicles. And for this, we're going to assume a nice straightforward example where something is coming to a halt on a nice level surface. So we don't need to think about gravitational potential energy. Now, the way that vehicles slow down is that when you press the brake, what it's doing is causing a couple of pads to come together on the actual disc. And this is the same in all types of vehicles. There's also going to be a bit of friction between the tyres and the ground as well. So initially, when the vehicle is moving, we've got energy stored in the kinetic store. And at the end, where's that energy gone to? Well, what's happening is that there's uh, other things which are heating up. So we're talking about maybe the disc pads are heating up, the, the metal that the disc is made out of heats up, and also there's going to be some energy transfer to the surroundings and they start to get a, a little bit hotter as well. So for this example, we're thinking about the kinetic store at the start, then there's a transfer by mechanical processes and so mechanical working. And then finally, at the end, we've got energy stored in the thermal store of both the bike and the surroundings. 